Hello, my dear students of class 7. This is Priyanka Upadhi, your physics teacher. And we were actually uh, dealing with the chapter 1 from class 7, that is physical quantities and measurements. In the last video, uh, we have learned about volume of regular and irregular bodies, measurement of area and measurement of area of regular and irregular shapes. And also we have learned about density and their unit and even we have learned about speed, okay? So in this video, we are going to learn about, uh, in detail about density. We are going to learn much deeper about density. So what is density? See, we know that the matter has mass and it occupies some space. Okay, the mass of a substance is the amount of ma matter which is present in it and the space occupied by the matter is its volume. Therefore, the all volume occupied by a substance increasing increases on increasing the mass. See, so, yeah. as we increase the mass, what happens? The volume also increases. By this, we can say that equal volumes of different substances have different masses and equal masses of different substances have different volume. So how to understand this? Equal volumes of different substances. Okay, if we take two substances and which are having the same volume, okay, they may not weigh same. It means they have different masses and now if you take two equal masses of different substances okay one is sugar, powder sugar and another one is iron piece of equal mass okay in this case what happens the volume will be different see by this experiment we can understand this one Comparing the substances having the same volume. Here we have lead, iron, aluminium, wood. See here, here in this, what is same? Volume is same and we are comparing the masses. Uh, okay, students, listen here. Here we are comparing the masses which are having equal volume. So what we need to do? We need to take four blocks of same volume. These are the four blocks of same volume, but they are made up of different substances such as lead, iron, aluminium and wood. So what we will do on the weighing, uh, we will weigh these all blocks on a beam balance. So after that, we will get their masses. But they all have the same volume, but they do not have the same mass. It is observed that the lead block is heaviest and the wooden block is lightest. Okay, the lead block is heaviest and the wooden block is lightest. The iron block is heavier than aluminium and the wooden block. See here, first lead is heavier, then after iron block, then after aluminium, then wood is the lightest block. So by this we can understand that the equal, uh, the substances which are having same volume, they do not have the same mass. Next, one more experiment you have. So that is comparing volumes of substances having equal masses. So what we will do, now we will take equal masses. We will take two substances which are having equal mass. See, here. take a beam balance, place a one kilogram weight on the right hand side pan, pour some sugar on the left side pan till the beam is horizontal. When the beam becomes horizontal, the weights will also, the masses will also become equal. 
at this moment what we will do we will just check that both the masses are same but what happens the volume will be different now if you look at this picture you can observe that see here the volume occupied by the sugar is more than the iron so it means you will observe that the volume of sugar is much more than the than that of iron weight here we can say that the equal masses of iron and sugar have different volumes next one is dense definition of density so already we have gone through the definition of density but once again we will study about the definition of density see in physics we refer to the lightest or heaviness or lightness or heaviness of different materials by the use of the word density see uh, we say that iron is denser than wood it means we are speaking about the lightness uh, and the heaviness of the objects density of a substance is defined as the mass of the substance per unit volume if m is the mass of the substance and v is the volume then the density is defined as density is equal to mass divided by volume okay so here we have units of density so when we are finding units of density what we will do we will take the unit of mass divided by unit of volume because density is equal to mass divided by volume so unit of mass is kg in si system and unit of volume is meter cube in si system therefore the unit of density is kg per meter cube as in the denominator we have volume it will be kg per meter cube density may be expressed in gram per milliliter since 1 milliliter is equal to 1 cm cube listen here 1 milliliter is equal to 1 cm cube so density can also be expressed in terms of gram per milliliter density is usually expressed in gram per cubic centimeter also see here gram per cubic centimeter hence in cgs system the unit of density is gram per centimeter cube and in si system the unit of density is kg per meter cube so 1 gram per centimeter cube will be equal to see here 1 gram is nothing but 1 divided by 1000 kg divided by 1 cm cube is equal to 1 divided by 10 raised to 6 meter cube so when you simplify this you will get 1000 kg per meter cube so here 1 gram per cm cube will be equal to 1000 kg per meter cube next one density is a characteristic property of a substance see here the density of a substance determines how densely the matter or the molecule are packed in certain volume of that substance for example the density of iron is more than that of wood because the atoms or molecules of iron are more densely packed in the given volume than that of wood see here if you take iron the atoms or the molecules are closely packed compared to wood that is the reason the density of iron is more than the density of wood see here actually the density of substance is the product of number of molecules present in per unit volume of that substance and the mass of the molecule density of a substance it is nothing but the product of number of molecules present in that particular volume and the mass of the molecule if you multiply the mass of the molecule with the number of the molecule what you will get you are going to get the density of a substance so it is nothing but density is equal to mass of the molecule into the number of molecules okay where m is the mass of one molecule and n is the number of molecules per unit volume 
mass of a molecule and number of molecule present in per unit volume vary from substances to substance see here, in some substances mass of the molecule what happens the mass of the molecule will be greater and the number of molecules are also greater when the substance is closely packed okay and that is the reason what happens uh, uh, different substances have different densities densities mass of a molecule or atom and the number of molecule present in per unit volume vary from substance to substance that is the reason what happens substances have different densities so one more thing i would like to tell here density of a substance decreases with the increase in the temperature as the temperature increases the density of the substance decreases and as the temperature decreases the density of the substance increases and the density of the substance is maximum at 4 degree celsius okay next densities of some common materials is being given so we have one more experiment so that is nothing but see liquids which are having different densities uh, take a beaker and pour some mercury into it next pour some water into it and finally pour some cooking oil into it so into the beaker so you will observe that oil floats on water and water floats on mercury it is because oil is less denser than water and water is less denser than mercury by this we can say that the denser materials settle down okay and the heavier material floats the denser substances sinks and the lighter substances floats on floats okay so you will find water floats on mercury and oil being less dense than water will float on water next one we have some applications of density see here flotation of an iceberg see here iceberg floats in the ocean in the sea why because the density of ice is lesser than that of the water that is the reason huge uh, huge mass of ice is uh, able to float on water density of the ice is lesser than that of the density of water that is the reason iceberg floats on water next one floating of ship made up of iron an iron ship is constructed in such a way that it is mostly hollow from within hence the average density of the ship will become less than that of the water and that is the reason the ship floats on water as it is made hollow what happens density of the ship will become less than that of water and as the volume is very large compared to its mass the ship floats on water next one swimming in sea water the density of sea water is greater than that of fresh water that is the reason it is easier to swim in sea water than in river water see here, the density is more in sea water density of water is more in sea that is the reason we can easily swim in sea water compared to that of density of river water what happens uh, with the density of river water density of river water is actually lesser than that of the density of human being that is the reason we tend to sink in the river water next one hydrometer hydrometer is a device which is used to measure the density of liquid see here hydrometer is a device which is used to measure density of the liquid this is hydrometer the lower bulb of the hydrometer is as shown in the figure it is made heavy by filling it with mercury or lead shots to keep it upright see here 
it is the lower bulb is made up of mercury or lead shown as the mercury and lead are heavy are denser they keep it upright in the system the thin narrow stem is graduated in such a manner that the mark up to which it sinks gives the value of density of the liquid in which it is floating so it is floating in the density so whatever the mark whatever the graduations it is showing it shows the density of the liquid in which the hydrometer is immersed okay see here. special hydrometers are designed to test the purity of milk or whether a battery is fully charged or not to check the purity of milk and the uh, fully charged batteries we use special kinds of hydrometers okay students thank you